Today we're making a jack-o'-lantern. Check out these examples and think about what kind of jack-o'-lantern you would like to make. Will it be happy? Will it be scary? Will it be silly? What kind of teeth will you have? What shape will the eyes be? Today's lesson uses symmetry. Symmetry is if you divide an object right down the center of it, like these dashed lines, it has the same shape on both sides, like flipped, the same size, okay, it's balanced. Here's a jack-o'-lantern that I made without contrasting colors. You can still see the face, but they're too similar, the orange and the red. It doesn't have the same effect as using black and orange. Here's one with no contrast. It's orange on orange. There is a face there, it's kind of hard to see. Here are the supplies you will need to make your jack-o'-lantern today. A six by nine inch piece of orange paper, a nine by 12 inch piece of black paper, pencil, glue, scissors. Let's begin. First, I wanna say that we are using all of the paper that you have been given today. There's not gonna be any trash paper. So once we cut something out, make sure that you don't lose any of the pieces. You're gonna need them later. Also, we're only drawing and cutting out the orange paper. The black paper is going to be the background and we're gonna glue everything to it. So don't cut or draw on the black paper, just on the orange. All right, let's get started with the drawing. I'm using black marker so it shows up better on the camera. Put your orange paper in front of you and get your pencil. Put your orange paper so that it's tall or vertical. Okay. First thing, we're going to make a couple dots on our page so we know where to draw things to. So put your finger on the upper left corner, make a dot underneath it. Put your finger at the bottom left corner, make a dot above it. Okay, those are going to be our guide points. So we're going to draw half of the pumpkin shape now. So starting at the dot on the top, we're gonna to make a number seven, okay? At the bottom of the seven, we're gonna put our pencil or marker, and we're going to make a curved line that goes all the way around and stops at the dot on the bottom. It's like a backwards C shape. Make sure you don't go too close to this edge though. All right, here we go. Curve it. Come back around, go all the way to the dot, okay? Once you get that done, we're gonna draw one eye. Here are examples of eyes you might wanna use on your jack-o'-lantern. The top row are the easier ones to cut out. The bottom row might be a little more challenging because of the half circle here. On this one, I'm going to make a circle. You only need to draw one eye. Next, on the edge of the paper, I'm going to draw half of a nose shape. Here are examples of noses you could use for your jack-o'-lantern. Just like on the mouth, we're only drawing half of the nose. So if you want a triangular nose, you draw half of a triangle. If you want a circle nose, half a circle. And if you want a square or rectangular nose, Draw half of that. Here are some mouths you could use for your pumpkin. Remember, we're only drawing half of the mouth. If you're drawing one with no teeth, it looks like half of a banana shape, kind of like a crescent. If you're doing a vampire, just put one pointy tooth. Here's the wavy mouth, zigzag teeth, square teeth. This one will take you the longest to cut out probably. Or you could do one with no teeth, half of a oval shape. All right, so pick one that you like or come up with your own. I'm going to draw half of a mouth and this one I'm going to give one pointy tooth so it looks like a vampire. Half of an open mouth. Think of like a banana shape and it's half of that. Now it's time to cut out your pieces of your pumpkin. 
As we're cutting today, remember, we're not gonna have any trash. So all of the paper, even this outside part, we're gonna call that the frame, we're gonna need. So start by cutting out the shape of the pumpkin, that big curved line that you drew. Take your time, watch your fingers. Okay, we're gonna save this part, okay? When you're cutting out the eye, you should fold the paper and you kind of pinch it where the eye is at and then use the tip of the scissors to make just a little cut. Then you have a hole to put the scissors through, okay? Never try to poke a hole because your hand's on the other side. So here it is again, pinch the paper, make a little cut along the line, unpinch it, put your scissors in there and then you can cut out the eye without having to cut from the side of the paper, okay? If you're doing this project and you have other people next to you, make sure that you don't lose your eye and mix it up with theirs. Okay, so put that down on the table. And then the nose, that's pretty easy. You just cut from the side. Watch your fingers. Um, you'll notice that I like to cut with the scissors open because this part is the sharpest part of the scissor. So it cuts really well when you cut on that part. If you try to cut with the tip, it takes a long time and it's, it's difficult that way. So turn the paper as you need to, as you're cutting. All right. Now we're ready to start putting things together on our black paper. We're gonna start with the frame. So we're gonna place it like this so the open part is in the middle, all right? You could do it this way where the open part's facing to the right. It's up to you. I'm gonna do it so it's, it's on the right side. So we're gonna need our glue. If there's dried glue on the tip of your glue bottle, you just use your fingernail and peel that off. If the glue's not coming out, it's usually dry glue is at the tip and it won't come out. All right, so you get your glue on there. Try to make it so that the stem is at the top. That's this part, our seven. That's the top of the pumpkin. So that should be at the top. If you messed up and you glued it and that's at the bottom like this, just turn it around, turn your paper around. Okay, once you glue that, we're gonna take this part, we're gonna call this the face. And with no glue on either side, no glue, just put it in there, just rest it down that way. We're, we do this step so that we make sure the glue gets on the correct part of the face. If you skip this step, you might put the glue on the wrong side, and then your pumpkin's gonna end up like this because it won't fit right. Like, so put it in there like a puzzle piece. And then we're gonna put glue on top. Think of it like frosting on a pumpkin cookie. All right, and the glue goes on top. And remember that line of symmetry down the middle? We're gonna take the face and we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna flip it over like you're opening a door and we're gonna put it on the black side of the paper and line up the top of the stem with that line of symmetry. You wanna get it right down the middle. There we go. Now you're gonna find all of your pieces. Hopefully you can find them all. Don't get them mixed up with your table partner if you have a table partner. Um, now we're gonna take these and put them in where we cut them from the face like a puzzle. One easy way to do that is if you look for your marker line or your pencil line, you'll see which side is which. And the face here, the marker side is face down. So if you see the marker, it's gotta go face down like that. So no glue. So go ahead and solve the puzzle. Put all the pieces back where they go. You might have to flip them or rotate them to make them fit. Okay, no glue. Now we're gonna glue. Glue goes on the top. Put it on top of the eye, on top of the nose, and on top of the mouth. Okay, and then we're gonna take all of these pieces and flip them over to this side. Okay, so you wanna try to line it up. You don't wanna put the eye way over here or down here. You wanna make it about the same distance. Okay, so that looks about right. Then we're gonna flip over the nose. 
and we're gonna flip over the mouth like you're opening a door. Now, if you get glue on your paper and it, it's gonna dry clear, so don't worry about that if you can see the white glue showing through. All right, there we go. There's our jack-o'-lantern, our vampire tooth jack-o'-lantern. We have the line of symmetry right down the middle. Let it dry and then you guys can hang it up. Thanks for making some art with me today and um, I hope you had a fun time. Happy Halloween.